The discovery of a pair of identical, barely driven 1987 Buick Grand Nationals has car enthusiasts scratching their heads at how they ended up parked in a dirty garage. The two identical classic muscle cars were recently purchased in a small town in western Oklahoma by a pair of friends who say they'll be kept together for all time. The twin Grand Nationals have identical options and consecutive vehicle identification numbers, meaning they have been together since they rolled off the factory line, one after the other. The incredible find was recounted by William Avila, who discovered the cars with one of his pals, reports GMEFI. The Grand National is a classic performance car, iconic for, for its universal Darth Vader black factory paint job, which earned the line the nickname the dark side among some enthusiasts. Grand Nationals were the kings of the drag strip in their day, and proved there is a replacement for displacement, a reviewer for Motor Trend Classic has said. Avila first heard rumors of the two cars on Facebook, when someone tagged him in a post mentioning them. I thought nothing of it, because the guy was asking nearly $200,000 for the two cars. I decided to call and found out that he was willing to let me come take a look, after jumping through all his hoops and whatnot," said Avila. Avila and his friend Sean Matthews decided to make the three and a half hour drive to check out the two cars, and see if the seller would come down on the price. I will set the stage for you. Two car garages open with about three inches of loose leaves, and two beautiful 87 Buick Grand Nationals facing away from us sat there dust covered, and waiting to be rescued, said Avila. They were stunned, not only were the two cars identical in all their options, they had barely any miles on them. Left uncovered in the dirty garage, they'd acquired a good deal of grime on the exterior. But one of them, with only 592 miles on the odometer, still had a new car smell on the interior. The other car, with 807 miles, was a bit dirtier, with apparent cat urine on the back seat. The rest of the car was in perfect shape, including the engine which I turned over by hand, says Avila. The friends returned home and spent the next month talking constantly about the incredible find. Matthews went back and forth with the seller on price, at one point deciding the deal wouldn't work. Then, about two weeks ago, Avila got a surprise call from Matthews. You won't believe it buddy, but the twins are coming home with us. Matthew said. I about died when Sean called and said that, Avila recalled. The pair drove back out and bought the cars for an undisclosed amount on March 31st. The cars are still together in Sean Matthews' possession, and will more than likely never be sold, said Avila. They are safe and sound tucked away awaiting some minor work that I will be performing to get them back to their former glory. They will be perfect when we are done. They will be at local shows and always be together and referred to as the twins.